<laughs> Good googly moogly, ladies and gentlemen. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the official number one only web space creating sponsor. The best they're, one. They're the best. I mean, there's no need to use anything else. If you want to create your own website, if you need a website, you should do it yourself. It's that the technology has reached a point where I would suggest to people that need a new website, well, are you specific? Do you know what you want? Yeah. Well, then you could do it yourself. You could literally do it yourself, a professional looking website with Squarespace. <laughs> Squarespace. It's the best deal. I'm actually using them for my summary. I signed up twice. I'm using it for a second website that I, I just started last week, and it's amazing. I know so many people use it. Cara Santa Maria uses it to manage her web space. I mean, I, I, I mean Duncan uses it. It's amazing. Yeah. It's funny. The guys at Squarespace, when I met them in New York, they're like, we got a, uh, a one of those report tickets when things are going wrong. What's that called? Uh, yeah. What's they, it called? Uh, ticket. Report ticket? Yeah, ticket. Yeah. Support. Support, not report. Yeah. They got a support ticket for Duncan Trussell, and they were like, is this Duncan Trussell, Duncan Trussell? <laughs> they were trying to figure it out. Uh, Squarespace is the, the, seriously, it's one of the easiest things you'll ever do when it comes to uh, creating something that looks incredibly professional. You can create a unique website for yourself or your business with a simple drag and drop interface. They offer 24 seven support and it works on everything. It'll work on your iPhone, it'll work on your Android phone, it'll work on a Unix computer, it'll work on a Mac, it'll work on Windows. And every site comes with a unique online version of it. The, the mobile version, uh, rather everything's online, what the fuck am I talking about? Mobile, unique mobile version version that matches the overall style of your website so that your content will look great on every device every time squarespace also has a logo creator where you can create a clean simple logo de design for yourself in minutes and every single website you do on squarespace you can start an online store with it every site comes with an online store it's super easy to do if you can just attach photos to email and get around a computer like a normal person you can make your own website it's the, the technology has reached that point. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, go to squarespace.com and enter the code word Joe. Squarespace, a better web, starts with your website. We're also brought to you by LegalZoom. LegalZoom is an awesome way that you can handle a lot of legal issues without leaving your house. It used to be that you would have to go to a lawyer and make an appointment and pay a lot of money to resolve simple things like power of attorney, living trusts, uh, wills. You can do all that stuff online now through LegalZoom. They've been handling it for over 10 years. They have an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau, and they've helped protect people's assets with LLCs, S-corporations, trademarks, real estate documents, and more. They even allegedly, I mean, I've seen it on the website, offered divorce, but I would like to look at... <laughs> I would like to look at how many people have actually got divorced through LegalZoom. Yeah, it was a grueling 10 years with LegalZoom. <laughs> yeah, shit, people duke it out, man. I was listening to uh, this uh, interview with this guy who was talking about how much money he had to pay. Some famous guy was, uh, he didn't mention his name, but he was talking about how much money he had to pay out in a divorce and freaking out about it. That's war with some people, man. Or that old story you used to say about how your friend had to pay for his own wife's mm -hmm, lawyers. True. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. I'm going through it. I wonder if I could use LegalZoom. Oh, you going yeah, through one? You got divorced? Yeah. Oh. What's his name? Uh, Gary. Why would they let us get married? Why would they let us get married Men to begin with? fucking fight. We can't be marrying each other. Anyway, go to LegalZoom.com. Dad, why are you marrying him? And uh, see if you can get divorced from your boyfriend. Is it a boy? Your husband? Whatever. Yeah, my dad. Whenever a gay dude says my husband, I always just go, okay. Like, it's, it takes a second. You know what I'm saying? To prove you're I'm okay not, with it, too. I'm not judging. Yeah. But like you said, husband, right? Your guy. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Well, don't you believe it's possible? I, I, I'm not homophobic at all. But if I see, and I live in New York, where if you see two guys making out, you're still like weird. Yeah, it is, it is weird. <laughs> it's awkward a little still. <laughs> well, it's always going to be if you're heterosexual, because for the most part, you don't see it until you, you know, reach an adult age, and then you're out in the wild with the wild homosexuals that just frequent these uh, thoroughfares. And yeah. these avenues, and then just, yeah, just like if you're in the wrong wings. spot, like if you're going down Santa Monica Boulevard, and you, it's probably we should probably just start the podcast right here. Well, Joe, is, it, is there different levels of that where you look and see two people kissing, and you're just like, you know what, I'm a little hungry for that, or, or like, oh my god, that's hot. You like, is it at all like on and off? You think like, do, do some people look <sighs> at it? To who? Go, to who? What are you saying? Like, if you're walking down the street and see two people, are you like asking anybody, me? Like, anybody, you. If do I you, walk down the street it, and it, I see, see two, two guys, guys kiss each other, do I ever say, is that hot? No, no, no. Is it? completely hilarious and like weird or is it like mildly like oh i see what they're doing there 
or is it like because it seems you like there would be thought different this levels. question out way way before you tried just, to express yourself just, in such a complex manner it just seems very like i wonder if there's different levels because i'm 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 like that's hilarious and creepy and weird sometimes. well it depends on what the guys look like you know, because no, there's a broad spectrum of masculine to feminine homosexuals, just like there are, you know, like it, women look different. You know, I mean, if if you run into a, two of a certain type of women making out, it's not fun. But if you, you know, it's it's uncomfortable. But if you run into women that are just whatever for whatever reason they flow together well visually. But if two Brad Pitts were kissing, or Brad Pitt and a George Clooney, it would never be hot to me because I'm a straight male. What it would be, <laughs> I would sympathize. I would say, you know, it's weird that I, I would judge and then I would hope that they don't run into anybody that's mean. I do that. Would you take a photo? No, that's rude. You have to. If you stall them just making Why? out like, like against a, a, a telephone pole. Depends. If someone, if they started taking their pants off, I'd probably start filming. <laughs> I'd start going after it. But then you get caught with gay porn on your phone. And then illegally acquired gay porn. So you're a bad person and you're illegal? a creep. Yeah, you're not supposed to be just filming people. I don't think you're supposed to f just film people. You know, I don't know what the rules are. Like about, I guess if you do something publicly, it should be assumed that you're filming it. But if you just took film of some guys making out and put it on YouTube, yeah. But if you call, make a website called Joe News, you can just say your news. <laughs> you just and hang one of those signs around your neck, like when they do for TV shows, like press. filming in progress. <laughs> yeah. If yeah, you right. walk through, assume yeah. that you will yeah, be yeah, shown. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, LegalZoom.com. Use could, the code word Rogan. LegalZoom uh, could help you out money. with all these questions. Probably. I don't think they can. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can hire Legal, an attorney. LegalZoom is developed by top attorneys to provide self-help services at your specific direction, but they are not a law firm. Um, they will provide you uh, with a third-party attorney, though, if the shit hits the fan. I have to say all this before we get done with this. Otherwise, I'll be stuck in this commercial for an hour. <laughs> um, stuck in this. Anyway, we've, we've used LegalZoom. Brian used it to uh, form Death Squad. Right. Um, right. uh, Aubrey used it to, to make on it. It's, uh, it's an awesome service. So you go to LegalZoom.com and use the code word Rogan. And last but not least, we're brought to you by Onnit.com. That is O-N-N-I-T, a human optimization website. And Onnit is... Right now, releasing the newest of our uh, artistic kettlebells, the werewolf kettlebell, <laughs> the legend bells. We have the zombie bells, of course, which I think we're out of. I think that's what's going on on the website here. I don't see the zombie bells. We're out of them. We still have the great apes. We still have some of those, and uh, we will. I'm sure we'll have the zombie bells back because they were fucking awesome. We got some other ones that are coming out too. We got some new ones. Oh, that's nice, man. I like. Yeah, the like werewolf's it. dope. It's yeah. heavy as fuck too. The werewolf is. Uh, it's a big one. It's um, 65 pounds, 28 kilograms, 62, 62 pounds. Jesus. So it's a good one to work out with. They it's look like so cool, but they range. hurt. They hurt. Yeah. If you do any kind of like yeah. uh, where you have to flip it over on your wrist, like the <laughs> one time, I used to do one with a skull, and yeah, it would just crack my wrist. Well, you, what you got to do is, first of all, you got to make sure that the face is outside, yeah. facing the opposite direction. That's a simple solution, yeah, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's what you do, but that's hard to do when you're tired. Man. But the other thing is you got to learn the technique of like punching through. Like when you swing a kettlebell, there's a certain amount of control that you develop with it where it doesn't ever hurt your arm. Because in like a lot of times uh, people when they're starting out, especially they'll put like wrist things on, like they're trying to get yeah. an eagle to land on their arm. They have, like, <laughs> big cushion things so that when the kettlebell flips and hits it, it doesn't hurt. But you get you get to know what what's moving you're supposed to like you know? twist it sort of almost. yeah yeah you, you twist it towards you first and then as you're going up you sort of punch through it and then you got it's a if, if you do it in a smooth motion it never really slams into your arm but the thing is if you're doing them right you're going to get tired and when you get tired that's when your technique suffers that's when you can you can fuck yourself up oh technique suffering is it's i've done so doing crossfit i did so much back damage because i just Never like, worked hard on good form. It's so important. Yeah, welcome to the the club. There's so many people that have hurt themselves doing that kind of stuff. Those uh, powerlifting exercises, you know, especially um, Steve um, uh, Maxwell, who's uh, a real expert in fitness and a guy who's uh, he's in incredible shape. He's 62 years old. The guy's an, he's an animal and just a wealth of knowledge. He's not a fan of those type of workouts because he said that those powerlifting workouts should all be done with very strict form and very heavy weights and very low reps. He's like, so they're essentially taking these these workouts that are all about this one big explosion and the most you can get up, and they're doing them over and over and over and over and over and over. And some people can get away with that, but some people get really fucked up. Well, they also add the element of, like, competition to it, which I never really bought into because I was just doing it to, like, try yes. to lose a lot of weight and get in shape. Yes. So I, just, I looked at it as, like, whatever was on that board was my workout, but there was a competition element. So it is funny that they spend... But the first 15 minutes of any CrossFit class I've done, 
is showing you the form of today's workout. This is the proper deadlift. Mm-hmm. This is the proper, you know, uh, yeah, like uh, clean, power clean. And then they do that for 15 minutes, and then they go, all right, as fast as you can now for seven oh, minutes. So it's so like, crazy. And, you know, and these people are competitive people, and they want to mm-hmm. win. So guys just like, you just see their, how they're bent over the wrong way and just like Ugh, putting so much stress on your up. back. For anybody that's thinking about doing any kind of workout with either kettlebells or even just regular weights, just dumbbells or barbells, please start off slow. If you've never done any workout before, what working out is all about is tearing down your muscle fiber and then it heals. And when it heals, it gets stronger. You have to tear it down and then you have to recover. The recovery is one of the most important parts. And that's one of the things that fucks up a lot of athletes. It's one of the number one issues when it comes to wrestlers. Like a lot of wrestlers, because they're so mentally tough, they overtrain. They fuck their whole their body up because their body's never getting the proper rest. You know, if you're not a competitive athlete that's in some sort of a program where you can't, you can't decide how much workout you, you have to do because you have to follow the team. If you're not in that kind of a, an athletic program and you can do it yourself, be fucking smart about it. It's hard to do because everybody wants to just, God damn it, I've been a fat ass. I've been eating donuts and drinking Cokes. I need to just, I'm going to clean up my diet and I'm going to work out like an animal. If you do it too hard, too quick, you'll rip things apart. You will. Your, your body's not developed for it. You got to build up to those kind of workouts. That's, that's why, isn't that's why like steroids, it's what they do is like mm-hmm. they help you heal fast. So you can work out harder. Exactly. I think it's, that's such a funny misconception always about steroids where, even in movies, they would make it like, you know, it's like they stick steroids in Drago's arm and he could just win fights. And like, <laughs> you know what I mean? People always treated with Barry Bonds like that. They were like, he takes steroids, like he injected it in his arm so he can crack home runs. They go, it still requires a ton of exercise and workout. Like, those it guys does. work harder still than anybody else. You definitely, but you definitely have an advantage over everybody else who works oh, hard yeah. if you're oh, on it. Without an argument. You yeah. know, I mean, none of these guys are taking it and then just being world beaters. They're taking it and working out like demons and then being world beaters. Yeah, there's a lot of lot going on with that stuff. But the real problem with it is that it crashes their endocrine systems. It fucks up their body. I was listen, watching this this thing on bodybuilders, man. This video, I was watching this online where this guy was interviewing a bodybuilder. I responded to him. It's in my timeline yesterday. It's the craziest shit ever. This dude who was a, 